Hi guys, in this video I thought I'd have a go at using some buttercream as I usually use fondant so we're going to give buttercream a go today and we're going to have a go at a Shopkins doll cake. So I've pre-prepared some buttercream and I've mixed it with a fuchsia pink so we've got some nice bright roses and what we're going to do is we're going to pipe them onto this little flower nail and I've cut out lots of pieces of greaseproof paper for the top of my flower nails that I'm going to stick to the top with a bit of buttercream and then what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of piping bags filled one with a smaller nozzle one with a larger nozzle and I'll show you the nozzles here so the nozzles are a little bit wider at the bottom and narrower at the top and I'll put links to everything in the description box below the video and what I'm going to do is twisting my flower nail round I'm going to try and squeeze and turn so that I'm getting a little bud shape in the middle okay and what I'm going to do is try and do some more can you see starting from the bottom just curving it up and round slightly and then we'll put these around a couple of times so you can do this as many times as you want layering it up and then if you want a fuller flower we'll flick the piping nozzle so that it's facing the out a different way so at the moment it's facing inwards and I'll flick it so it faces outwards so that my petals start coming out rather than tucking in and you want to make lots of these because we're going to be filling around the bottom of our dress with these roses and when you make them you want to try and have them all different sizes so do some a little bit bigger some a little bit smaller that's why I've got a bigger piping nozzle and a smaller one um, you, you, you can get away with just one size piping nozzle that's fine the more layers you add the larger the flower is going to get so you might want some just tight little buds that don't have many layers on and once I've made quite a few of these what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide off the greaseproof paper off the top of my nail and I'm going to put them all on a tray, keeping them on the greaseproof paper and I'm going to put them in the fridge for a good 10-15 minutes so they're hardening. In fact, they can stay in the fridge while I'm working on the rest of the cake. Now, usually I make my own little dolls for these cakes, but this time I decided I was going to buy a Shopkins doll. I saw her in the shop and thought she looked really cute. So we're just going to undress her, take off her little skirt and her shoes. Her legs are quite bendy, so we're going to see if we can put them into a piece of cake doweling. So I've got a hollow cake dowel, which I've cut to the height of my actual cake. So can you see I've cooked a dome-shaped cake and layered that. So I've put, cut through to give me a few layers. And I'm able to push her legs tight into that tube so that the doll itself isn't coming into contact with the cake. And what we're going to do is we're going to start layering up our actual cake itself. So I'm just going to use my leftover pink buttercream from the roses. I'm going to put it between each layer and the big hole in the middle is from where we've pushed that dowel. Keep layering it up all the way to the top. I'm going to give it a crumb coat of buttercream and I've dyed this in an apple green colour. And I'm going to put that in the fridge for 10 minutes just to start to harden it a little bit and then we're going to give it a second layer. I've decided to go a little bit darker green for the second layer. So I've just added a bit more food colour in. So spread it as evenly as you can over the top so we're just going to go over it. And then what I'm going to do is I've just bought this cake cloth stuff. Again, I'll put links to where you can get it all from in the description box. And you can rub that against your buttercream to try and smooth it off a little bit. Leave it a good 10 minutes or so so that it starts to crust slightly on the edge before you start dabbing it with the cloth. You can also use a kitchen roll as well if you prefer. So once you've smoothed it all the way around, I'm just going to put a little dollop of buttercream on my cake board. So I've pre-iced a cake board in pink icing. And let's see if we can lift that cake up and put it into the middle of the cake board. And then we've got our doll still sat in the dowling. So we're going to push that dowling into our cake like that. Just make sure she feels like she's in nice and firm. And I've now taken my roses out of the fridge. So they're quite firm at the moment because they're still cold. But try not to keep them in your hands too long. Otherwise, they'll start to warm up and melt a little bit. So you should be able to just peel them off the grease with paper and then we're going to stick them all around the bottom of the skirt. Again, just using a little bit of leftover buttercream in pink. So I'll just start putting this around the skirt. So just push them on gently. Make sure they feel like they're sticking. You don't want them sliding down. And try and put them on so you've got a mix of small and large ones next to each other. You don't want too many large ones all together. So I've saved one small one that I'm going to put to one side that's going to go on her middle. And I've actually just got some royal icing now rather than buttercream it, with a little round piping nozzle. I'm just going to pipe little polka dots all the way around the green bit of the skirt. And I've just dyed a little bit darker green now with my buttercream. And I've put on a different nozzle on my piping bag. Again, I'll put links to the nozzles that I've used. Now this one's good for piping leaves. And all I'm going to do is squeeze and pull so that we're getting a leaf shape. I'm going to do that all the way around her middle. And then we're just going to place this leftover rose that we've made 
just on the side on those like that and if you want to add a few more leaves around the bottom of the skirt you can do now they're nice and easy to do with the leaves and remember I'll put links to these in the description box below the video so you know what piping nozzles to use and then just position her arms where you want them so I'd, I'd lifted them up earlier so they were out of the way when I was sticking her in the cake but we'll play around with these there she is all finished so this is one of my first times using buttercream because I usually use fondant if you like the buttercream videos or you prefer the fondant ones please do let me know thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.